All right, we are recording. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the JS Core Team Weekly. Uh, do we have a volunteer note taker? Alan, beautiful. Thank you. You can't do it. <laughs> oh, David jumped in. I took over. David, you took too long. I'm moderating now. Sweet. I love it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Sorry, I had trouble with Zoom. Yeah, no problem. All right. Uh, so, yeah, everybody, make sure you put your name on the list. It looks like we have uh, a couple new people potentially here. Um, we'll go ahead and kick off updates, and then it looks like we have a demo from Alan. Uh, if we have time, we'll do that at the end, um, and then we'll cover questions as well. So, I'll go ahead and start off. Um, last week did a lot of uh, Retrospective and OKR work, so scoring OKRs for last quarter um, and then prepping for the new quarter. There's a draft of the LibPDP OKRs. I have a link to that if you guys want to look at that. I'm hoping to get most of the comments back today, um, and I'm going to move that over into the spreadsheet tomorrow, and then we can just do comments from there. Um, worked on some testing of the data store standardization error codes for JP JSIPFS. There's, I think, two outstanding pull requests for that with JSIPFS and IPFS MFS, um, but that should resolve our problems going forward there. I've got a couple of PRs out for delegated routing timeout defaults um, as part of making sure that we're not spamming the delegate nodes with uh, requests that never timeout. And then uh, just submitted a PR to fix uh, Stability builds that got merged in, so I'll do a hotfix release of that today. Um, this week I'll be working on delegated routing PRs, um, the finished Q4 OKRs, and then supporting anything that's needed for the data store updates. And then I'll continue on with working on finishing the libp2b switch incoming connection uh, state machine updates. Anybody have any questions? Oh. Everything sounds pretty solid to me. Uh, I'm super excited to see the delegated peer routing and content routing and like overall like the LEP to peer switch. Do you, like I, I know you plan to finish it this week. Do you have a demo in mind that you are also preparing at the same time or is that not in uh, your schedule? For the switch, it'll, it'll depend on when that gets done, um, but I'd like to, I think the update to libpdp itself will be pretty quick. Um, and so I ideally like to get that to where we can do the various states spinning from that, but I think it'll be tight with all the OKR stuff this week to get that done. Got it, makes sense. No other questions and Volker. Hi, um, so I've been working as the past few weeks on graph sync. There has been a bit of good discussions on the pull requests with, with the original graph. So if you want to follow it over there. And I'm not blocked and I will working on this stuff, but I also will do some IPLD project maintenance because um, due to the graph sync stuff, yeah, I still need to like do releases, um, clean up things, um, get things into shape. So I will mix this up with a few with a bit of crafting stuff, and then I will hopefully finally record my Phosphor G talk that I've planned to record for the past two weeks. Hopefully, it will happen this week. Um, yeah, so everyone will get an idea about like how to use FS for GeoData. That's all. David. Uh, cool. So I have two questions. Um, I'll start with the one that should be quicker. Um, what do you mean by recording your uh, FOSS for G talk? I believe you spoke at the conference. Like you have to record your talk separately. Yes. The problem is not all talks were recorded at the conference, and mine wasn't recorded. Okay. So you yeah. record so that we have a, a, a watchable version. That's awesome. Um, yes, that's my point. Yeah. Cool. On on graph sync, I know that there is like a lot of discussion in the spec, and you mentioned that like the the prototype might be out of date already. Um, I I would like to propose one thing: uh, is that like any prototype of graph sync is always like workable with IPFS, so that we can like 
grab all of the use cases, for example, like what Pedro has been doing uh, and, and have real tests on the network. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if the trans sub, uh, I believe that's the name of the module, is ready, for example, to touch to just a PFS and, and give it to Pedro so that he can test it on peer pad stuff, for example. Yeah, so so it's not so I so originally like like I don't know like half a year ago I had a version with, which worked with IPL uh, with IPFS, but it didn't work out so well. So this current version only works with libp2p, and but the plan certainly is to basically get it as soon as possible into IPFS. But it's still like yeah, in the future sometime. Uh, Ellen. Hey, yeah, uh, I, it's not so much a question, but I would really like some more visibility over what's like what you're working on on graph sync. Uh, Cause I feel like you, you've been doing the same thing for quite a while now. And I, I like, I haven't, I haven't seen anything yet and I'd love to see some of the stuff that you're doing. Um, so, um, yeah, like any kind of demo or, or, or like a video or like a pre-recorded video or something of it. Um, even if it's like halfway finished, um, but just some of the things that it could do or something. Oh, like I just don't feel I have any visibility at the moment and I'd love to love to see it um, would be rad. Um, it's not so much a question, more a request. Yeah, yeah, yes. The, the biggest issue is that basically every two weeks it changes what it actually is. So, <laughs> so I'm finally clearer on what it will be like, but yeah. But it, that's okay. It, every two weeks an update would be rad. Okay. <laughs> All right. This is what it is this okay. week. I, I'd right. love to yeah. see the, the you know the, the process you you're going through or you you've been through so far. We just it, I think it's it, I, I think everyone else would as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it'll, cool. keep, okay. it'll probably keep you motivated to keep keep working on it on it too, right? If other people are looking at it and going, "Wow, that's rad! It needs this," or like, "Can it do that?" Then you're going to get some feedback straight away and be a bit more motivated to keep keep going, keep drugging, keep yeah. and actually finish it. So. Um, yeah, yeah, all right. Okay. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Thanks, uh, Pedro. So, so uh, wait, hold on. Like in the same vein, um, I would actually really like to see. So, so you said that it's changed a bunch, like in in all this time. I would actually like to see those changes and why, because a lot of those changes probably speak to fundamental, like architectural issues that we're going to run into later. And it would be nice to know kind of the reasoning of like, oh, we tried this, or we're going to go down this route, but actually it won't work or it won't scale to this. To, for whatever reason, like that's gonna, I think, help us out a lot later. So getting a lot of that reasoning for all of these like rabbit holes that we went down that like ended up not working out would be super valuable. Yeah. So on the on the PR, which is uh, linked, there is the the recent update of the rabbit hole I went into and why it didn't work. So you can follow up there a bit. Yeah. All right, Pedro. That's really exciting, Volker. Um, I, even if it's just lib P2P, I would like to take take a, to use that 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 protocol. At least I'd attempt it to to use to, to sync multi logs um, mm -hmm. across devices. Uh, so we 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 should talk after because that I have like two use cases right now for for it, and I think it could be a good driver to test uh, test things out and. Yeah. Cool. Yes. Also, if, if someone has a use case or even thinks he has a use case or isn't sure if it is one, uh, please get in touch with me because I currently also don't have enough use cases. So that's great. Thanks. I have two great for you. Great. Thanks, Walker. Uh, next up, Vashko. Hello. Uh, so last week uh, I worked in the retrospective in the OKR planning. Then I started looking at the awesome DHE endeavor. I basically rebased the uh, current PR, tested it, found several bugs, and then I started creating uh, uh, PRs for fixing those bugs. Then I also continued uh, making some tests for the DHT interop, and uh, I've also found some uh, problems there. I will probably take this week, but I didn't have time yet. Uh, then I also made two small PRs for handling the new data store error that uh, Jacob implemented. Uh, I'm still blocked uh, on the IPNS stuff, and uh, there is also a PR for GSIPFS blocked uh, for review that will be needed for the MFS PR that Jacob uh, did. 
Then for this week, I will fix the feedback available for my blocked PRs. Uh, Lido also created a PR for the IPFS HTTP response module uh, integrating the CID uh, and I still have to review it and uh, release. And uh, then I will keep working on the DHT and the DHT interop the most I can. And it's that for me. Any question? Uh, not necessarily a question, just going to say that there's a lot of stuff happening, that this is awesome. Um, I, I'll, I'll try to get to this PR to give you some feedback, make sure that you're not blocked. I'm not sure if this is like a technical design or a code review that you need. Um, nevertheless, I'll jump to it. Um, I've been like jumping here and there uh, and having convos with you through some PRs, uh, giving some suggestions. I think we are in sync on those, right? Or yes, what do you yes, yes. Yeah. yes, it's more uh, IPNS where I'm blocked than uh, DHT. DHT, I'm okay at least for now. Yeah, and so IPNS right now works locally, so we can like write to the data store and like spin another node and read the records. Um, then we have IPNS over PubSub. Is, is that like 90% complete or is it blocked right now? Uh, I have uh, all the PRs uh, with the uh, implementation working completely. It's just uh, so interrupt good, with you. Uh, I still have to make some tests because I have another PR which uh, fixes the interoperability problem mm -hmm. for local that uh, was introduced because uh, I think it's a problem that will also occur with the DHT because the goal peer to peer records and the GS peer to peer records are different for both, and uh, that's one of the things that I want to get into this week got it got it awesome yeah i was going to say like if, if the interrupt was already there like uh i would also suggest to record a demo because that's going to be super exciting to see ipns names getting propagated um across pops up like it, it will also give pedro and all the people that are building dApps on top of ipfs a lot of new ideas um okay. all right all right yeah alan has a hand go for it yeah, sorry. I just to say, I'm blocking Vasco on on that particular fix. I haven't had a second to review his P PR. So, um, and I wanted to actually talk to him, and I did ask last last week, but then I never got around to it. So, maybe tomorrow we can talk. Um, Whenever you want, tomorrow it's okay for me. Rad. Okay, I'll ping you. All right. Great. Awesome. All right. And Alan up. Uh, sorry, I can't. I'm just terrible at this. <laughs> um, so what, are, what was I doing? Right. So at okay, the beginning of my week, um, I got sucked into some um, uh, IPFS post message proxy issue for IPFS companion. Um, the, they had a bug report that was saying that adding files in Firefox was super slow. And like adding a two meg file in Firefox took nearly 20 seconds. Uh, and in Chrome, it takes, you know, like half a second. Um, and so I had, uh, I just had um, to fix that. Uh, but I, because I haven't looked at the proxy for a whole bunch of time, I had to kind of bring it up to, uh, up to scratch first. So this sucked up a bunch of my time, um, not related to kind of core dev JS stuff. Um, anyway, that I've tracked down a problem. I released a new version of the proxy. That's now in IPFS companion. So the bugs solved and, and that, that's all that done um, and then the rest of my time this week was spent doing uh, finish I hope nearly finishing off work on the CID base pull request um, which adds a CID base option to uh, IPFS commands it's almost finished I just need to write a couple of tests not a couple a few tests um, and uh, and then it should be ready for like a, a, a look through at least um, and then I was off on Friday, so it was kind of a short week for me. So I didn't get done, get a lot done. I'm sorry. Anyway, so uh, next up is, um, yeah, I need to um, review some IPNS PRs. Like I know Alex has sent a keychain PR and I wanted, I've been wanting to look at his repo config PR for a long time as well. Um, and then, yeah, I wanted to finish off that CID base 
pull request, um, but also do the do OKR planning and also um, do some presentations for that as well this week. So this is going to be a big week for me, um, <laughs> and uh, I'm on holiday next week. So um, yeah, burn. <laughs> um, cool. A any questions? No, all right, awesome. He is, uh, like, I guess the other question, awesome. Uh, um, always amazing work. Um, I guess like w one of the things that Alan is also asking everyone is like, if you have anything that you need is feedback, make sure to do it as soon as possible because it is not going to be around to answer your question. So uh, perhaps like if you have like a, an issue or a pull request review that he, that needs his review, like just tag him or I don't know, send it through IRC. Alan can, can tell you the, the way that he prefers to receive requests. Um, otherwise, you will be blocked for by two weeks. Oh, great. And Alex. Um, so the PR that I had open about uh, array types and generated Swagger documentation got merged. Yay. So that's uh, fixed a bug in that, which is great. Um, I merged Jacob's PR to MFS, um, but it's awaiting some work to be done on the main JSI PFS um, because of a, an incompatible module release. Um, so I've refactoring uh, MP on, on IPFS to transfer modules between workers using CIDs. At the moment, it's all MFS based, which is great and it works, but it's kind of a cheat because, uh, because everything's done by paths. You can't just get it from another machine. Uh, which kind of sort of defeats the objective of using IPFS. So I'm refactoring it to use CIDs as well as part, um, which will be really cool. Uh, Deal with the OKR stuff. Um, I'm blocked on a storage solution for NPM on IPFS in uh, in the deployment. Because at the moment we have a bunch of uh, Docker containers running workers for, for the app um, and they, I only have a finite amount of storage, which will no doubt run out when I'm asleep and people are using it in CI and then it would be really tedious when that all falls over. Um, so there's a PR open for converting it to use the S3 data store, which should uh, hopefully, you know, negate some of those problems. Um, so next up, I'm going to finish doing this refactoring. Uh, and then I want to start looking at uh, this, this idea of an IP MPM install command. So instead of at the moment with NPM on IPFS, you either use the public uh, registry mirror kind of thing that we've got, or you spin up a daemon on your own machine and then start like doing NPM stuff, uh, which is fine, but there's quite high friction. So just having a, a command that kind of basically mirrors how NPM does install, but it will do all this kind of like plumbing stuff in the background for you and pull everything from IPFS, which will be awesome. Uh, it's a real shame that we've got like, you know, everything's an acronym IPFS NPM because it just makes trying to come up with names for these commands really hard and, You know something you're not going to trip over when you're saying um, I don't know. We'll solve that problem that, That's gonna be me any questions <laughs> David uh, I'm super excited to get NPM on IPFS to become the default registry uh, that we fetch our, our dependencies from um, Awesome work there I heard that we are getting a PNS soon, so we can start publishing the the root hash of the registry again. Yep. <laughs> so, so like, uh, take a look at that because it's coming. Like, GoIPFS already supports. Um, if NPM and IPFS can still support both GoIPFS demons and JSFPFS demons, you can like play with both. I have that feature ready so that when that lands on JSFPFS, it's just like, it's just calling that feature. Um, another thing that like. Kind of like kind of, kind of, right now we kind of have to spin this npm on ipfs daemon to to use as the registry endpoint but the reality if and this is me diverging into design work but i want i don't want to go there i just want to point the idea which is the reality is that npm install kind of like works for just like regular paths and so it would be great if we could expose the mfs folder through the normal ipfs gateway because then npm on IPFS is just like a module that fetches modules from npm and puts them on npfs. But then any node can be an install point, can be a registry uh, for the npm CLI. Um, 
like you just crossed my mind today. Think about it. MFS should be exposable through the IP pass gateway. Um, that's it. Any any other questions for Alex? Michael? Yeah. Um, did you get a chance to look at the Tink thing that NPM put out? Um, just very briefly. It's like, yeah, yeah. They just did like a blog post about it, but basically they're experimenting with like an entire new way of um, doing package installs and relating to the registry. And I just want to make sure that like as as the, the sort of future of how all this stuff works is in flux that we're not um you know into like bound forever to this uh to the older model that might be moving past uh, uh, no, i haven't looked it up but i'll take a look yeah good bringing it up perhaps there can be a, a think ip think that we can experiment with <laughs> adding <IP. laughs> all right no other questions, and Hugo? Hi, guys. Uh, just to complete the thing Michael said, uh, the guys from Yarn also have a similar idea. So they both uh, published their work uh, this week, or the, the week, uh, the previous week. So they do. Of take course a look they have, at, a, have a similar take idea. A look at, yeah, yeah. So I'll continue with the work. Uh, so uh, then uh, I managed to fix uh, some problems with uh, the stream HTTP, uh, the one crashing Chrome, that uh, is the root um, cause for all those uh, issues we have, like uh, 100 megabyte file crashes Chrome. Um, it's fixed and uh, I'm just waiting for the pull request on stream HTTP to be merged. And then I'll need to make the others, the other pull requests to update to the dependency. Uh, another thing is about the service worker. It's about the streams and not being able to use fetch or um, it, um, HTML HTTP requests inside service works and stuff. That's fixed, but it's not uh, shipped yet. I didn't make the pull request yet, but it's working. Um, also did retro and planning for the OKRs. Um, I got back to the missing text I have for the big data stuff. Uh, it's all ready to just the, making uh, the like core instances uh, connecting to other types of instances or demons or whatever, and also uh, stuff running inside the service worker. Uh, that's pretty much done. I just need to finish up some stuff and push it to the to GitHub. And also I'm still blocked on the IPFS API shanks I have and also on the IPFS. If you guys can go there and review that stuff would be great. Um, the Chrome fix is also in this pull request I just extracted. So uh, the guys from the companion can ship stuff uh, faster if we can just merge that uh, simpler pull request. Um, I th um, they have like the shares files, the new app they are releasing that needs this fix. Um, I also have a couple of other PRs that are blocking me, but just uh, minor stuff for documentation on uh, CTL. Uh, I also don't know what to do about the pre-gen PRID stuff, if David can help me out here. If I should just release CTL without that and just revert it or just ship it like it is now, uh, because I would like to release a new, uh, the CTL with a new uh, version of uh, the API and other stuff. And also this week I'll continue working on the examples for JS IPFSIO and hopefully ship the, the, all the stuff related to stream HTTP and the, the tests. If anyone has any questions? Yeah, I, I just want to follow up on your uh, question for me. Um, so the pre-gen IDs were shipped they are there, like you can use a flag to say that you don't want to generate IDs on the fly. That like basically makes spawning an IPFS node, either JS or Go, way faster because you don't have to 
like to the RSA dance. Um, that curl was tested with JSXFS to make tests faster. Um, if there is no problem, I'm not sure if you were like pointing out that there is a problem with the current module or, or if it isn't, but like if there is no problem, I think you should release it and we should get it on JSXFS API and JSXFS because it will like cut the test time significantly. So explaining better this, this situation is uh, there's not actually a flag. It's just like if it is the, uh, you know, on disposable mode, it runs through the code path using pregen IDs, but I run a basic benchmark and it does basically nothing or in terms of performance or speed gains or whatever. Uh, that's where my concern is. Interesting. Okay, so there might be some problem because generating large keys, as we seem always like one of the main uh, places where the time is spent. So, so yeah, like, add that, those as tests, and let's make sure that those uh, are improved. Okay. Yeah, I, so, I have the, I have an issue. The um, I don't know his name. The guy that made that pull request already Machi. replied. Machi, yeah. Um, so I think he's just. Uh, I probably working on it, but uh, I'll ping him again so we yeah. can get that thing solved. Sounds good. So yeah, like if there there is no other feature that people are looking for, uh, no need for release. If there is another feature like you can consider releasing. Uh, otherwise, let's get it fixed first. Um, the rest all sounds good. Like we are now on time. Uh, I'll just like go very quickly through my update. Uh, basically, I've been doing like. OKR dance all over the place and preparing IPFS days and, and thinking about uh, the Go core hack week that's going to happen in London. Um, and, and so I've, my time has been sucked by all those like planning management uh, things. Uh, I have spent some time making sure that I got to all the requests that called for my attention. That's where I got the chance to give some feedback to Vasco. Keep thinking me if you need my, my help. Um, Pedro, can you ask your, so this is like my update. I guess like no one asks questions because it, it's pretty simple. Uh, I'm not announcing exciting things as everyone else said Panda. Um, Pedro, you have a question. You, do you want to post your question now? Uh, yeah, I'm not sure if it's the, the right form, but uh... It's, it's to know, well, uh, today uh, two people have talked to me about problems with WebSocket Star bottleneck, being the bottleneck of, of um, uh, Pure Star based apps. And, and so uh, is the, there's a rendezvous protocol, uh, RFC, that has been open for quite some time. Uh, I know there's a chicken and egg problem in, in the implementation. Uh, I would like if there's, it's possible to have an update on that and what are the plans and whether I can help to unblock something or if there's any, something else that, that's blocking this. I see Victor, Victor. has a hand. I need to jump up to the next call. Um, but I guess Victor can... By the way, who, who started the recording? Okay, so it's safe. Okay, I'll, I'll watch the remaining minutes. Okay, thank you all. See you around the interwebs uh, and you can continue. <laughs> Bye. 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 So with the rendezvous RFC, there is uh, a few comments in the pull request that have to be adjusted in the, in the spec in itself. Then on the, on the code side, there is an implementation and there is also a, a testing server you can use. And there is a JavaScript implementation, but it seems to be a bit inefficient and it has like a, it's kind of over engineered at this point, I think. Uh, but you can take a look at it. It should be under the LibP2P organization. Is, is anyone uh, working on it that, uh, as far as you know? Uh, I think M MKG200. Thousand yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. was working on a class last time. Yeah. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll ping him anyway. So I want to make the best effort to move this forward. Thank you, Victor. All right, I know we're out of time. Does anybody have any last minute questions? Yeah, Hugo? Uh, just 
uh, a request for Alan, as he is going to be away for a while. Uh, please find some time to review my pull requests. The guys from the web browsers are really excited about it, but until it's shipped, uh, it's you can do nothing. So it's just that. Thank you. Okay, I will take a look this week. All right, and we will go ahead and end it there. Uh, everybody have a good week, and we'll see you in the OKR meetings. Bye. Bye.